Hey guys, this is Undead here doing a, well, this is a change up. It's a DVD review. Um, these, uh, not all these are mine. Some of them are. I'll tell you which ones are and aren't. Um, and there are actually some pretty good DVDs in here. Uh, some of these haven't been heard of very much, but they're actually very enjoyable at times. Um, I've, got, I've got a lot of comedy, superhero movies, and uh, I like animation just a little bit. Um, I've got one really, really good one in here. <clears throat> Start off with, I swear these are just in a random order. I just picked them off the shelf and I'm like, okay. Like I said, not all these are mine. Some of these are family movies that I decided to review. Uh, Dumb and Dumber 1 and 2. Um, Dumb and Dumber 1 is very funny. Second one sucks. Of course, you gotta have How the Grinch Stole Christmas. This is a family movie, but I watched this the most. It, it's been my favorite since it first came out. Very good movie. Uh, you gotta have these uh, Shanghai Noon and Shanghai Nights. Uh, they're both very funny. Uh, I would not recommend it for younger children though, because of the language. Aliens in the Attic. This is a family movie, but I watched I watched it a good bit. It's pretty funny. Um, the animation in this is actually very very well done. I'm surprised this movie didn't do better, but the problem is the story is just pretty stupid. It's pretty funny how they decided to fight them with paintball guns. <laughs> This is on my channel. is one of my favorite movies. Um, Superman Returns. Um, very good movie. I mean, uh, it made a great comeback with the series. Um, although it could have been longer and it could have been better. I mean, uh, 154 minutes is just not long enough for me. Sorry, dealing with a little cold again. Uh, Race and Stripes to Kangaroo Jack. Um, this movie right here, Race and Stripes, sucks so bad. Kangaroo Jack is very, very funny. Sherlock Holmes, um, very good movie. Um, I had I I'd only heard of Sherlock Holmes in books before I saw this movie. Then I saw it, I'm like, wow. Um, the five sequences sequences in this movie are pretty good. Um, but it does. You have to actually think of the story. Really good. Um, just married. I have no idea why I have. I think I got this from my grandparents or something like that. Um. It shows, it says funny and original, and it shows a cockroach crawling over the F right there. Um, that's because in one of the scenes, it, ha it has a cockroach in it. Um, very fun movie. I would not recommend this, though, if you're not into... It, this is not really a romance at all. This is the animated, the really good animated movie I was telling you about. Uh, the case is kind of coming off right there, where I uh, pulled the sticker off a little too hard. Um, this is Nine. This is a very good movie. I will say this though, for younger children, this movie might be a little frightening for younger children. I mean, because it does have a bunch of little monsters jumping out and all, at all, well, all the different times in the movie. Very good movie though, and uh, this is like the. Uh, I have no idea what this is. I, I've never. I don't. I don't even think they make it without the case, like this has a cardboard case. It's pretty cool. Very good movie. Um, this is probably the worst Rambo ever. Rambo three. This is the only. This is the only one I own in the series. The, the first one uh, was okay. The second one sucked. The the, um, the fourth one or whatever was just plain out brutal. It was it was okay. This one sucks. I, I'm not into Rambo that much. Um, it says the most explosive blast in the action pack trilogy. Um, if it was explosive, it would have made like top ten in greatest movies of all time. This is like 500. <laughs> this movie is not very good. You notice I start getting in the two and four packs. I buy buy them like that because you get two, you get like four movies, four three hour long movies for five bucks, which is a very very good deal. Um, Mission Impossible three. This was actually pretty decent. I I saw part of Mission Impossible one on TV about a week ago. Um, it's actually the fir this first one's not very good. The second one's uh, okay. I saw like the first 30 seconds. Usually the first 30 seconds aren't very good. I don't like it. Um, pretty good. The story is a bit confusing at times. I mean, there, there are so many twists and turns at the end. This must be making another one. Thank, I'm hoping to God this is the last one in this series because, I mean, they're getting old. Once you get past the third or fourth, I mean, they're, they're crap. Uh, this is a double pack. I love both these movies. Um, I, Robot and Independence Day. 
Independence Day is like one of the top grossing movies, one of the like top fifteen, I think, of all time, and it should be. It's got very good special effects, and it's about it's talking about the United States getting taken over by aliens. How could you not watch that? Very good. iRobot's good too, but still, I would not recommend iRobot for younger children, unless you don't really care. This is one of my favorite movies, um, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Very, very good movie. Um, I will say this. It could have been just slightly better. I mean, really, Indiana Jones, Aliens. Mm -mm. Isn't, isn't he already doing that? Cowboys and Aliens? That movie's going to bomb. I'm just going to say that now. That movie's probably going to bomb. I mean, it's it, it's not a very good combo. Uh, the back right here, there's the villain. Or villainess, or whatever you want to call it. Sorry about the light right there. Villainess. I don't even think I need the light on. No, I'll just leave it on. Um, pretty good, though. Uh, I'm a big fan of Larry the, Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> Witless Protection Program. Very funny movie. Um, but the, these movies didn't do very well, but they're, they're just made just like the blue comedy, color comedy tour movie. Delta Farce and stuff like that. I still have not been able to find Delta Farce on DVD. It's almost impossible to find. Um, very good movie. He like basically gets mixed up with the FBI and he has to straighten out his own screw ups. I'll grab the second one right here. Uh, Health Inspector. This is my favorite Larry the Cable Larry the Cable Guy movie. I don't even need that light on. You guys can see it better. Um, Health Inspector, really funny movie. The plot twist at the end is like what? I didn't know, I didn't know that they did it. Very funny. Too Fast, Too Furious. I've got the other ones. Uh, my brother has uh, Fast and Furious for his Blu-ray on uh, the new, the fourth one on PlayStation. And I have the first, second, and third one. The third one, the case is busted right, right along here. Right along, right along here. And you can actually completely take the case like this and fold it in on itself. And, and the case will be completely flat. It's really weird. It, it got crushed somehow. I don't know how. Uh, very good. It's just high octane action. Yeah. Very good movie. I, I, I used to be a big fan of the Nissan Skyline. Now I realize that was pretty stupid. Get a little stack of them over here. I've got like 10, 10 or 15 more left. Uh, Drill Bit Taylor. Really funny movie. Oh, this is probably one of Owen Wilson's best work besides... Um, Shanghai Noon and Shanghai Nights. This is really funny. Iron Man. This is he's one of my favorite superheroes, um, if you could call it that. Very good movie. The first one is, is really good. The second one, I, I wasn't feeling the second one. It, it pretty much sucked because it had Mickey Rourke in it, and I'm I saw part of the wrestler. It was pretty good, but. It, it, it didn't make sense. I mean, really, Whiplash or whatever his name is, Ele Electro Whips is his weapon. Really? Didn't didn't Electro from Spider Man already, you know, kind of do that? Uh, it's but this is pretty good though. This this is very good. The special effects are awesome. And come to find out, the suit when they actually hover around in it, that actually happened. They were pumping so much propane out of his uh, the things on his hand. They actually used propane for it, stuff like that. Uh, propane jet engines on there. And he, they ha actually had to suspend him from cables just to keep him from falling. But it was he was actually controlling the going side to side stuff like that, but not the actual going up and down. Pretty cool. This movie bombed for some reason. This is the rundown. This movie is great, man. I saw this on the old VHS um, not too long ago. It was really good. I will say this: this movie probably had a thirty million dollar explosion scene at the end of the movie. The whole building goes up, and that was probably the budget right there. Um, very good, though. And you notice I say um a lot. I had a guy comment me on a video the other day. He said, man, nice video, but you say um a lot. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. it it's not easy. I'm just, I've just been thinking this whole video, don't say um, don't say um. <laughs> uh, see, there's the Fast and Furious. Very good movie. This I prefer this one because the racing in this one over the... It, well, each movie has its own theme. This one is drag racing. The second one is circuit. The uh, like going around an actual track. 
The third one is drifting. The fourth one is like off road, and the fifth one I'm not even gonna see the fifth one. I mean, they're they're these are getting old. I mean, after the Fast and Furious, the one where Vin Diesel gets arrested in it and actually goes to prison, and they're doing off roading. That one didn't do very well to me. I mean, it, it was pretty much stupid after the after the third one. Um, this is really good though, if you're into cars. Uh, one of my favorite superheroes. <clears throat> Uh, Superman 1, 2, 3, and 4. Very, very good. I must say, uh, you can tell when they're using special effects because his suit will actually turn green during the flight scenes. Uh, that's that's just the suit they use to make use the background. Um, I don't like the original Superman movie very much. I prefer the second one and the third one with, uh, what's his I forgot the guy's name. Uh, I think it's uh, yeah, Richard Pryor in it. Um, yeah, I prefer those. Really good. I haven't said um, I don't think. Now I got the last stack here. Um, these are, this is, uh, about as close as I get to horror movies at times. This is Ghostbusters 1 and 2. I call this the slimed edition because that's what it looks like. And they were selling these for like 15 bucks. I mean, really, how could you pass that up? 15 bucks for this really cool case. This stands out of my collection. Um, I've only, uh, out of all these DVDs here, I probably own 15, 15 or 20 of these. Um, really good. The first one is awesome. The special effects are great. The second one, uh, uh, uh. nah, it wasn't very good. The special effects in it, though were good, and these are great comedies. If you if you want to sit down with the family and watch something, they're great. Also, I've noticed on TV they actually add about 15 curse words to the movie on TV. Um, it's, I've never heard them actually add stuff to it. It was on AMC, and they actually added about 15 words to the movie, so, and they added an extra 30 minutes to it, I'm like, what? It was, uh, I've, all, I've never actually been able to see that whole movie like that again. It, it's only happened once. I've searched on the internet, does this have this battle language in it? No, it doesn't. I'm like, okay. The Mask, I used to love this movie when I was little. My mom found it on DVD, and she's like, hey, it's here. I'm like, okay. She picked it up for me. Thank you. Um, really, really good movie. <laughs> I love the teeth right here or over here. It's it's so funny. How, they're like horse teeth. They're huge. Um, the first one's really good. Uh, Cameron Diaz didn't do very well though. The second one, <laughs> I'm not sorry to say this. It sucks. Worst movie ever. Um, I'm a big Halo fan. I don't play it as much though, but I'm still a fan. Uh, Halo Legends, uh, really good. I reviewed that in one of my other DVDs. Uh, Batman one through four. I prefer the one with Mister Freeze and the one with the other, uh, well, with uh, Two Face and the Riddler in it. Very very funny. The Gridiron Gang. Um, it's a pretty good movie. It's based on a uh, true story. I will say this though. This movie, I'm, I'm not into football. Or I, I like racing and stuff like that, just a little. I'm, I'm not very into sports. But um, it's, it's got Exhibit in it, which is so stupid. Terrible actor. Um, but it's it's really good. Um, it's, it's based on a true story, which is which is actually incredible. And it's got some really good, uh, I will say it's really good football sequences in it. Uh, this is my brother's movie. I, I was just reviewing this right here just because I like, uh, I love this movie so much. This is one of my favorites. Uh, the Expendables, really good movie. Very good action sequences in it. Uh, Dragon Wars, can't say much about it. Didn't like it very much. Uh, Bait Shop, very funny. Uh, good movie. And uh, I have no idea why I bought this. I think that I thought this was actually going to be a really violent zombie movie. It's not. Last of the Living, you can watch this on Netflix. It's only got like two and a half stars. That's because they only encounter one zombie the whole movie, and he encounters a zombie and slices it with a circular saw, or as I call it, a skill saw. Blood shoots 30 feet in the air and, like, coats the side of a building, and I'm like, that's just too much blood. And he, he drops it, and it's got, like, blood, like, it looks like it's jelly that's been ran all over it. Um, and he encounters, and another guy encounters a zombie and smacks it with a golf club while he's peeing, and just, the zombie just goes, whoa, bounce back. Really good, though. Uh, and Play Dead. I'm not even going to bother watching that because it looks so stupid. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.